Hi, I'm Cheryl Burke. I'm honored to welcome the American Dance Wheels Foundation to our studio in Mountain View for a wheelchair dance competition on August 24th from 5 to 7 p.m. This inspiring event, a first for our studio, is open to the public free of charge. The competition follows six weeks of classes in three Bay Area locations for wheelchair dancers. They have been learning the tango, rumba, and salsa. Melinda Kremer, co-founder of American Dance Wheels, has partnered with the Spinal Cord Injury Center at the Veterans Hospital in Palo Alto. The center is researching how wheelchair dance training might become a key part of rehabilitation for people with spinal cord injuries. All of us at Cheryl Burke Dance congratulate Melinda for her innovative program and the Palo Alto VA for its dedicated staff. In the months and years to come, we hope to see many wheelchair dance programs and competitions throughout the Bay Area. Years ago, my daughter, who uh, has since passed away five years ago, um, became disabled at the age of 11. And she was a dancer, and I was a ballroom dancer. And um, when she became disabled and had to use a wheelchair, she couldn't dance anymore. So I didn't want to dance anymore. And so for, the, for a couple of years, two, three years, I didn't dance. And she didn't dance, obviously. And at that point, um, I was fortunate enough to meet a dance teacher that thought, well, maybe we can uh, include people that use wheelchairs in dancing. And we started to work with uh, a gentleman who used a wheelchair who was extremely athletic. And we figured out some steps, and uh, the rest is history. We realized that there were lots of people out there that used wheelchairs that wanted to dance, and that, um, that should dance, and had significant others, and wanted to meet people. And, and so the program became a social program. Um, uh, and unbeknownst to, we, to us, there was wheelchair dancing in other countries already, but not American style and not a social dance program. And that's what American Dance Wheels has started, a social dance program. Um, it feels great to be a part of this study, especially because it is such a unique study. Um, I'm excited to be a part of it because the participants are so interested in this. It's not simply a study for them where they come for six weeks and they end it. They want to continue this after the study ends and continue doing this for as long as they can. So we hope to be able to demonstrate therapeutic effectiveness of this program on many different levels, both physically and psychologically. We hope that this will improve strength, range of motion, balance, as well as coordination. Um, moreover, we hope to influence confidence level, depression, uh, affect their quality of life, and enhance community participation. One of the biggest things that I got out of the program was it helped in my own depression that I was going through. And I noticed that I, um, just doing the physical uh, work of da uh, dance, it also helped my breathing and um, it gave me some sore muscles at the end of the dance. So it physically helped me too. And it helped my emotions and physically it helped me a lot. I love how I can manipulate my chair and my body and feel like I'm an able-bodied dancer all over again. I've always been a dancer, and I would stay it for the rest of my life. Our wheelchair dance program uh, is in th three locations. We are teaching in three different locations. The Palo Alto Veterans Hospital, um, and also at the Timpani Center, which is in San Jose and also Axis Dance, and we're very grateful to them. They have lent us space, and um, as you know, they also do wheelchair dancing, so uh, we also have a program in Oakland there. Uh, and the programs are going great, and every single participant we have is wonderful and fantastic, and we thank all the standing partners. And of course, we will have a competition at uh, the Cheryl Burke Dance Studio. We are grateful for that, too.